Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital, Vital, Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting Finland's corpses. Abysmal thresholds. Split release on Dark Descent and MSUO. I love this LP packaging, the glossy cover and everything, and the art that's on the cover is just amazing. I fucking love this, like, chair made out of Hydra heads and shit. It's just utterly Finnish and utterly awesome. I fucking love Corpsest and Abysmal Thresholds. I think some of their best material, but... I'll leave that up to you. Check out. I'll put their Bandcamp link below if you want to check out the rest of their catalog and stuff. But killer, killer, crushing Finnish death metal. I cannot recommend this enough if you're a fan of Crips, Gorephilia. It, you kind of need the, to check this out. Seriously. And uh, now this next 7-inch I'm going to be going over. If I mispronounce this band's name, it's because I have never heard it said alone. And that is Binya, a tirade of plagues. Now, Binya play a form of death metal that fucking kicks ass. It's like kind of a wee combination of Finnish death metal mixed with like Swedish death metal, but on here you get three tracks around 12 minutes of just straight up evil old school suffocating cavernous death metal and it's fucking sick but it's also at times a wee more melodic than their full length and i'm looking forward to hearing their new full length but the one before this i forget its title but it was fucking kick ass and this 7 inch is kick ass as well just a little more melodic than the full length which isn't really a bad thing it works very very well with these three tracks and i really dig like what uh binya do with their fucking tunes here on a tirade of plagues like in under 12 minutes they managed to grab my attention add both these like you know buzzsaw guitars and shit but also like the crushing heaviness of like convulse it's really really cool stuff here and I know that logo is hard as fuck to read so if you can read this then yeah you win the death metal prize of the day and some awesome artwork here this again mixed release with Dark Descent and MSUO mixed release you know what I mean like a combo release and this is the MSUO version 45 RPMs of death metal and very organic sounding as well which I really fucking dig about this like it doesn't sound forced or anything wait do I have per- no I have black I was like is this purple? <laughs> nah it's black but um yeah these three tracks are fucking killer stuff here I really, really dig it. Unrest in peace. Binya logo and band photo by Pino Fabrio. I love that photo. Awesome UK death metal here, seriously. This is some really good stuff. And this is recorded and mixed back in June and May 2013. All songs by Binya. And you have Rupture of Silence. Hempterian Maraud and Torpid Blight of the Spirit. And these three tracks are just fucking sick. Like fungi nourished by waste of life, absorbed and digested by the vacuum of the hive mind. Jaded, sleepless, and swamped by stimuli beneath the silent gaze of anxiety. Unplugged from the matrix, our paths astray and purpose forgotten, we languish and wither away. Lead A, soul skeletons float on the sulfur acid of melancholy, 
I love when bands name their guitar solos. I think it's like cool as fuck. Especially like lead one. Ponds of spit blood are gulped down by the barren ground is the name of the first lead guitar part on Rupture of Silence. While the second lead is wrathful clouds descend upon Cain's accursed continents. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, this is fucking sick. For far away is the land of Goshen. Goshen's actually 45 minutes down the road in Pennsylvania, but that's a tale for a different day. But this is some really sick stuff. Like, lyrically, I, I feel like this is kind of in the realms of, like, atrixy. And that's fucking sick. Like, just when it comes to some of the vibes that, you know, you get off a tirade of, pl of plagues. I really, really dig this 7-inch, uh, seriously. Like, dude... Throw in like some of the weirdness of Atrixy, some of the me uh, more melodic buzzsaw parts of like Left Hand Path, and also throw in the fucking pummeling Finnish death metal assault that is some early convulse, and you pretty much have the formula of what Binyat are doing here with a tirade of plagues. It's fucking great. Three tracks of just some killer UK-based death metal. On MSUO and Dark Descent Records, I'm not sure if they're still on MSUO or Dark Descent. I didn't really look or anything like that. But this 7-inch was released by them back in, uh, I think, 2014, but was recorded in 2013. But I noticed it was a limited edition 7-inch, so... Again, I'll put a Bandcamp link below and hopefully you guys can snag a copy of this bad boy because it seriously fucking slays. And yeah, if you're a fan of, you know, old school death metal that is both cavernous, suffocating, but yet memorable, then Binya have you covered on a tirade of plagues. This is some great, great stuff. A really awesome 7 inch as well and a great introduction to the band if you're new but yeah this is really really good stuff and I've been talking for almost the whole time that this 7 inch plays for so I'm gonna shut the fuck up and let you guys check this out for yourselves I guarantee you guys are gonna enjoy this um, if not I don't know what to tell you I mean yeah there's so much good shit out right now so Working backwards, here's 45 RPMs of cavernous, suffocating, awesome death metal from the UK. Binya, a tirade of plagues on Dark Descent and MSUO Records. Get into it if you're a fan of Finnish and Swedish death metal. Throw the two together in a blender and boom, you have one of the most interesting UK death metal acts. And we've been blasting Finland's Corpsest, Abysmal Thresholds, also on Dark Descent Records and MSUO. Amazing stuff here from Finland as well. So fucking good. Love it. And I love you guys as well. As always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Peace.